Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet the pineapple stitch. This would be great for a beautiful rectangle wrap. Um, this is how, this is a very nice ending for a wrap here. Now it's not hard to do the pineapple stitch. Um, it's mainly just chain, sp chain spaces and V stitches. It just has a very long repeat. It has an 18 row repeat. So rows 3 through 20 are the repeat rows for this. Uh, particular design but it is very very beautiful it's just a little bit time consuming that's all but it's not really a yarn eater because it's lots of chain space as you see pineapple there it's really pretty makes a nice delicate stitch like i said for wraps or even blankets so what do you say you want to go ahead and get started on it let's do it so this this is a stitch here and i'm going to show you tell you the multiple so you can make yours big as long as you want if you want to make like a rectangle wrap out of it let me set it to the side so the pineapple stitch is done in a multiple of 23 plus 2 which means that the chain that you make needs to be chained in a multiple of 23 so 23 however many times for however long you want your wrap to be or whatever you're making um, and then you add two more to the base chain all right um, and check the description box below. There'll be info on the yarn that I used in the hook size. All right, so row one, we are going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook. Remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So we go ahead and do a single crochet into that second stitch. And then we're going to work across and put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. like this so row one is one single in every stitch until you get to the end of the row all right so I've made it to the end of row one so we are going to chain one and turn our work so that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're gonna work right back here into this very first stitch and we're gonna work five double crochets into that very first stitch. So there's one, two, three, Four, and there is five. Now we're going to start the repeat of row two. We are going to chain one and then we are going to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four, and single crochet into the next. Like that. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next. Then we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and we're going to skip four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet into the next. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to skip three, one, two, three, and a single crochet into the next. So if you look, we have chain three space, chain four space, chain three space. Now we're gonna chain one and we're going to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And in the next one, we're gonna put nine double crochets all into that same stitch. So skip your four, one, two, three, four, and work nine doubles all into the same next stitch.
All right, there's a nine for me, and that ends the repeat of row two. So we're gonna go ahead and start again. We're going to chain one, and we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four, and we're gonna single crochet it to the next. Then we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, single crochet into the next. Then we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four, skip four, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next. Then we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next. And again, if you look, we will have a chain three space, chain four space, chain three space. And then we're gonna chain one. We're going to skip four, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna work nine double crochets into the next stitch. And there is nine, and then we're just going to keep repeating that pattern that we've been doing until we get to the last four stitches, or I'm sorry, the last five stitches of our row. All right, so I've made it to the last five stitches in my row, and I have done where I have a chain three space, chain four space, a chain three space, and normally I would um, chain one, skip four, and do the nine double crochets. But instead of doing that, we're going to end by chaining one, skipping four, one, two, three, four, and putting five double crochets into the last stitch. So it's kind of like a half a shell on the ends, or a half a pineapple on the ends. So go ahead and end with five doubles into your last stitch there. And that will end a row two, just like that. That's what it starts to look like. All right, so now we're gonna start row three. So this is a long repeat, but the repeats are pretty easy. Rows three through 20 are the repeat rows, so it is an 18 row repeat. So we'll go ahead and begin. We are going to chain one and turn our work for row three. We're going to put one double crochet into the very first stitch here. Like that. And then we are going to do a chain one and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, and double crochet, into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and double crochet here into this last double crochet right here before the chain, just like that. And now we're going to start the repeat of row three. So we're going to chain one. And we're going to skip this first single crochet right here. And in this next single crochet, we're gonna work a double V stitch. So we're gonna yarn over, so skip this single and into the next single, we're going to go into the single crochet and we're gonna work two doubles. There's one, there's two, 
and then we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into the same stitch and work two more double crochets so that would be the double v stitch for this particular pattern two doubles a chain one and two doubles all into the same stitch like that now we're going to jump to the next single crochet which is right here and do another double v stitch so go ahead and yarn over go into that single crochet and work two doubles chain one and two doubles all into that same stitch just like that now we're going to skip this single crochet right here and we're going to be working in these nine double crochets here so we're going to chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet like that and then we're going to chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet and we're going to do this across all nine of these stitches chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double into the next double all the way across these nine double crochets double chain one like that and that will end the repeat for row three so we'll go ahead and repeat it again and we start with a chain one and we skip this first single crochet here and we put our double v into the next single crochet so two doubles chain one two doubles and then we jump to the next single crochet which is right here and we work our double v which is two doubles chain one two doubles like that and then we are going to chain one skip the single crochet and double into the next double of this group of nine and then chain one double into the next double chain one double into the next double and we're going to do this all the way across this group of nine last one here and then we're just going to repeat that pattern until we make it near the end of our row and that's what it starts to look like all right so when you're coming to the end of the row i just did my two double v stitches here and i'm at the end where we would be working a half pineapple stitch so i'm going to chain one i'm going to skip this single crochet and i'm going to double crochet there's these five double crochets here on the end double crochet chain one into each of them let's see that's four and that fifth one kind of high tees here on the end make sure you get him and that it will end a row three We'll go ahead and we will start row four. 
All right, so for row four, we are going to do chain three, and we're going to turn our work. Now we are going to go directly into this chain space right here, or this chain one space and single crochet. So that kind of counts right here as our first chain three space right here. And we're going to chain three. And we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space. And we're going to chain three. And we're going to single crochet right here into the next chain one space. Chain three. And a single crochet right here into the last chain one space. So if you look back here on this half pineapple, we got one, two, three, four chain three spaces there. So now we're going to start the repeat of row four. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to jump over here for, to our first double V stitch and we're going to work two double crochets into that chain one space of the double V. So there's one, there's two, and then we're going to chain one and we're going to jump over to the next double V stitch, which is right here. And we're going to put two double crochets into the chain one space of that one. Like that. So that's kind of like we made a double V, but we spread it out. See that? Over these two. So we did two doubles, chain one, and then two doubles over here. Like that. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we are going to single crochet right here into the next chain one space between the double crochets. So here's our first double. So the chain one space in between like that. And then we're going to chain three and single crochet in between the next doubles, the chain one space. We're going to do that all the way across chain three. And in between the next doubles, we single crochet chain three in between the next doubles chain three in between the next doubles we single chain three in between the next doubles we single and then chain three all the way to you get to your last double here right here in between these last two single crochet and you all right and we're going to count our chain spaces here and we should have a total of seven um starting with this one right here that we made after our first single crochet one two three four five six seven so that's part of our pineapple and now we're just going to repeat that again so we'll start off with the chain of three and here we are at our two double v stitches so into the chain one space of the first one we're going to work two double crochet chain one and jump over to the next one and work two double crochet into the chain space of that one just like that and then we will chain a three and we're going to single crochet into the chain one space between the first two double crochets and then we'll chain three single crochet into the next chain one space between the next double crochets and we're going to do this all the way across
and here I am at my last two doubles. I'm going to single crochet into it and I'm going to count my chain spaces and I should have seven starting with this one right here after the single crochet that we put in between our first two doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I just repeat again. So, and I would repeat that until we get near the end of the row. All right, so I'm coming to the end here where I'll be working a half a pineapple. So I did my um, two doubles into this double V here, chain one, and did my two doubles into this double V. And I'm going to chain three here, and I'm going to single crochet into the space in between my first doubles here. And then I am going to chain three and single crochet into the next space. Then I'm going to chain three, single crochet into the next space. I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to single crochet into this last chain space. And now this is how we're going to end the row. We're going to work a chain one and then half double crochet into the top of our last stitch. And that's going to count as a chain space there. So if you count that as a chain space, we'll have one, two, three, four, just like we did at the beginning of this side. All right, and that will end a row four. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn our work and we'll begin row five. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. All right, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is put a single crochet into the first space right here, just directly into it and put a single crochet like that. And then we are going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and a single crochet into the next chain three space. Just like that. So now if you count here at the beginning, we got one, two, three chain three spaces here on this half pineapple. Now we're going to start the repeat of row five. We are going to do a chain of three, one, two, three, and we're going to work our double V stitch, but we're going to work it into this chain one space here from the previous row. So right into here, we're going to go right into it and we're going to work two doubles. Chain one and two more doubles into that same spot. Just like that. Now we're going to chain three and we're going to jump over here and we are going to put a single crochet into the first chain three space of our pineapple. So we're not working in this chain three space here, this first chain three space of our pineapple, single crochet into it. And then we chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space. And we're going to do this all the way across our pineapple chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and repeat until you have no more chain three spaces of the pineapple. And right here is my last one. You can see, remember, we're not working in this one just this one right here with the pineapple. And when you count your chain spaces now, one, two, three, four, five, six. One last than you did the row before. And then we're just going to repeat what we just did again. So we're gonna chain three. And we're gonna put a double V stitch right here in this chain one space. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Like 
10. Then we're going to chain three. Then we're going to jump over here to our pineapple section. So we're not working into this space right here, but this first one right here. And we're going to put a single crochet into it. And then we're going to chain three and single crochet into our next chain three space. We're going to work this all the way across the pineapple, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, this last one right here and if I count my chain three spaces now I should have six and we are just going to repeat that until we get to the near the end of our row all right I'm coming to the end of row five I just did my double V into this chain one space and I'm at the end where we'll be working our half uh, pineapple so I'm gonna go ahead and chain three after that And then we are going to do a single crochet into this chain three space here, not this one, but the one that's attached to our half pineapple. Single crochet into it, then chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and single crochet right here into this last chain three space here on the end just like that and you'll have one two three spaces chain three spaces just like we did at the beginning and that will end a row five and we'll go ahead and begin row six all right so we're going to chain three turn and we're going to put one single crochet into the first chain three space here. Chain three. Single crochet into the next chain three space. Chain three. Single crochet into the next chain three space. So again, you're going to have three chain three spaces on this half pineapple on this on this end on row six. So we're going to start the repeat now. We are going to chain three. And we're going to put a V-stitch in the chain one space of the next V-stitch. So right here, I'm going to go into it and we're going to put two doubles, chain one and two doubles. just like that and we're going to chain three and we're going to single crochet into the next chain three space of our pineapple so we're skipping this chain three space right here and in this one single crochet and then we're going to chain three and in the next one we single crochet in that next space and then we chain three we do this all the way across single crochet into the next chain three chain three single crochet into the next chain three then we chain three and we do this across till we reach our last chain three space of the pineapple which is right here So now when you count, one, two, three, four, five this time. Last time we had six. And then we are going to repeat it again. We're going to chain three. And we're going to put a double V stitch in the chain one space of the next double V stitch. Then we're going to chain three and we're going to skip this chain three here and we're going to single crochet into the next chain three space that starts our pineapple 
and repeat by chaining three and single crochet into the next chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three we do this all the way across the pineapple portion Right here is my last single crochet and if you count we should have on the pineapple spot one two three four five chain three spaces and now we're just going to repeat that until we get near the end of the row all right I come to the end here to where my half pineapple is going to be and I just did my double V stitch here in the chain one space so remember we had three chain three spaces the last time on our half pineapple and we're going to have three again just like we did over here at the beginning so we're going to go ahead and start or in here we're going to do a chain three and we're going to skip this chain three here and we're going to single crochet into the first chain three space that creates our half pineapple and then we're going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and we're going to single crochet into this last chain three space like that now we're going to end by chaining one and putting a half double crochet into the top of the last stitch and that is going to count for a chain of three like it did before so we have chain counting that we have one two three chain three spaces on this half pineapple just like we did on our first one and now we're getting ready to start row seven all right so now we're going to start row seven and we are going to chain one and turn our work and we are going to single crochet directly into this first chain space here And then we are going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space. Then we're going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space. And that is part of our half pineapple there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start the repeat row for row seven. We're going to chain three and we're going to be working into the chain one space of this V stitch here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the chain space here and we're going to work two double crochets. And we're going to chain one. And we're going to go back into the same spot and work two more double crochets. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into the same spot again and work two more double crochets. That so in that V stitch spot here we have two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Now we're going to chain three and we're going to be working across this pineapple section here so we don't work into this chain three spot we start right here and single crochet into it and then we chain three and then we single crochet into the next chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and single crochet into the last chain three space and now you have one two three four chain three spaces now and now we just repeat so again we are going to chain three and come over here to this V stitch and in the chain one space of it we're going to work two doubles chain one 
chain one, two more doubles, chain one, and two more doubles, just like we did before. And we're going to chain three. And we're going to jump over here to our next pineapple section. So we don't do anything right here, but this, this one right, this chain space here, we're going to single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain three, single crochet into the next space, chain three, and a single crochet into this last part of this pineapple, like that. And again, you got four chain spaces for this pineapple, just like the rest. And now we're gonna repeat this pattern until we get near the end of the row. All right, I just did my last double crochet, or two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. I'm going to chain three, then I'm going to come over here to where our uh, half pineapple is, and I'm going to single crochet into the first chain three space. And I'm going to chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and then single crochet right here into this last space, just like that. And that will end row seven. Now we're gonna go ahead and start row eight by chaining three and turning our work. And we're going to single crochet into the first chain space, like that. And then we are going to chain three and single crochet into the next space. Like that, and that open well in the half pineapple part. Now we're going to start the repeat. We're going to chain three, and we're going to work in these chain one spaces right here. We're going to V stitch in each of these chain one spaces. So we're going to go into the first one. We're going to work our V stitch up two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So there's our first one. And we're actually going to chain one in between them. So we're going to make a chain one here. And we're going to jump over here to this next space right here and put a V stitch into that. So two doubles, chain one two doubles just like that and then we're going to chain three and we're going to come over here and work where our pineapples at so we skip this space here into this chain three space of the pineapple we're going to single crochet and chain three single crochet into the next space and chain three single crochet into the next space chain three single crochet into the last space of this pineapple and now we have knocked it down to one two three chain spaces of the pineapple and now we're just going to repeat again by chain in three and working in these two spaces chain spaces here we're going to put a v stitch into the first one or the double v two double crochets chain one two doubles and we're going to put a chain one and we're going to go to the next one next space and do the same thing two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And 
that. And we're going to chain three. And we're going to work over here to where our pineapple's at. So we don't work in this chain. This, this chain space here, but the first one of our pineapple. And we single crochet. Chain three. The next space, we single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet. Chain three and single crochet and we're just going to repeat that pattern until we get near the end of the row all right now i've come to the end here and i just did uh, my double v chain one and a double v here so i'm going to chain three and i'm going to come over here to my half pineapple and i'm going to single crochet into that chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space. I'm going to chain one and half double into the do half double into the top of the last stitch, like that. That's going to end row eight. So now we're going to start row nine. We're going to chain one and turn our work. All right, we're gonna put one single crochet right here into this first space. Like that. And then we're gonna chain three. And we're gonna single crochet into this next space right here. Just like that. Now we're gonna start the repeat. We are going to chain three. And then we're going to come over here to these chain spaces here. So we have a chain space here, a chain space here, and a chain space here. So we're going to work a double V stitch in each of those three chain spaces. So we did our chain three. We're going to come to this first chain space and we're going to work our double V. So we're going to work a two doubles, chain two, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Sorry. And then we're going to come to the spot in the middle here and work another. And then we're going to come to the spot. Right here. The next one and do the same work one more. So that's kind of what it looks like. So what this is setting us up for now is so we can kind of branch off um, and make more pineapples. All right. So now we're going to chain three. And we're going to work over here to where our pineapple is. So not this chain three space, but the first one of the pineapple. And we're going to single crochet into it. And we're going to chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and single crochet into the last chain three space so now we are down to two chain two spaces of the pineapple you can see so that one is almost completely finished looks nice now we're going to repeat so we're going to chain three again we're going to come over here to where these all these chain spaces are. We're going to work at the double V at each of them. Here, here, and here, just like we did before. Last one. Down 
that. Then we're going to chain three. And we're going to come over here to our next pineapple. So not this chain space here, but the chain space of the pineapple. And single crochet into it. Chain three. Single crochet into the next chain space. Chain three. Single crochet into the next chain space. And we're down to two again. And we're going to repeat that until we get near the end. All right, I've come to the end here. So I just did all my double B stitches in my chain one spaces. So I'm going to chain three. And here I am my half pineapple. I'm going to single crochet into this chain three space. Chain three and single crochet into this last space here. And that will end row nine. So this is what it's starting to look like once you stretch it out a bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start row 10. So we're gonna do a chain of three and we're gonna turn our work. And we're going to single crochet into this first chain three space here. That. Now we're going to start the repeat of row 10. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to V-stitch into the next V-stitch. So right here, we're going to go into that chain space and we're going to work two doubles, chain two, two doubles. two doubles, chain one, two doubles, I apologize. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then we're gonna chain two. And then into the next V-stitch here, we're gonna do a V-stitch again into that chain one space. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Then we're going to chain two. <clears throat> and we're going to do another V-stitch here into the chain one space of this last V-stitch here. And we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And we're gonna single crochet into the next chain three space of this pineapple. So not this one here, but this one, we're gonna single crochet into it. And we're gonna chain three and single crochet into the last chain three space of this pineapple, just like that. So you can see that pineapple stitch is fully formed pineapple and now we are just going to repeat that again chain three and we're going to work in these v-stitches right here we're going to put a v-stitch into the chain one space of the first v-stitch two doubles chain one two doubles Then we're gonna chain two, jump to the next one right here, V-stitch into that space. Chain two, and the next V-stitch, V-stitch into that space. like that and we're going to chain three and jump over here to our next pineapple so not this chain three space here but this chain three of the pineapple we're going to single crochet in it chain three single crochet into the next chain three space that finishes out that pineapple and then you're just going to repeat that until you get near the end of the row 
All right, I'm coming to the end of row 10. I just did my set of V stitches there. So I'm going to chain three. I'm coming up here on my half pineapple. I'm going to single crochet into this, skip this chain space here, single crochet into this chain space. Like that. And then I'm going to chain one and end by half double crocheting into the last stitch. And that will end row 10. Half double there. And we'll go ahead and we'll start row 11. So row 11, we are going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to put a single crochet into this first space right here. Just like that. And now we're going to start the repeat of row 11. We're going to work a chain three. And we're going to put a V stitch into the next V stitch. So right here into this space, we're going to work our two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Like that and then we're going to chain two and then in the next V stitch which is right here we're going to work nine double crochets so we're going to be starting another pineapple but as you can see it's catty quartered from the first row of pineapples so go ahead you did your chain two go ahead and jump to the next V stitch right here and we're going to work nine doubles into that spot. So there's nine. Then we're going to chain two. And in the next V stitch, we're going to work a V stitch into that spot. So two doubles, chain one, and two doubles, just like that. Now we are going to chain three. And we're going to work one single crochet into the chain space of the pineapple. So not this chain three, but this one right here. This is the last chain space of this pineapple. So go ahead and work a single crochet into it like that. And then we are going to repeat again, starting with a chain of three. And we're going to work a V stitch into the next V stitch. And we're going to chain two. And we're going to work a nine double crochets into the next V stitch. There's a nine. And then again, we're going to chain two and V stitch into the next V stitch. And we're going to chain three and single crochet into this chain three space of your last of this pineapple here the last chain three space of the next pineapple like that 
and then we are going to repeat this until we get near the end of the row all right so i've made it to the end here of row 11 and you can see i did my v stitch chain two nine doubles chain two v stitch and here i'm at the end and i'm going to end by doing a chain of three one two three and i'm going to single crochet into the last stitch here and that'll end row 11. so you can see now these chain or where we did the uh, nine double crochets those are going to start out as pineapples again so we'll go ahead and start row 12. we're going to chain five one two three four five and then we're going to turn our work like that and now we're going to start the repeat for row 12. so we are going to put a v-stitch right here into the next v-stitch like that and we're going to chain one and we are going to put a double crochet with a chain one in each of these nine double crochets so we're going to go ahead and double crochet into the first double crochet here of your group of nine and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to double crochet into the next chain one double crochet into the next chain one we're going to do this all the way across Here's my last one here like that and then we are going to chain one and then we are going to do a V stitch into the next V stitch which is right here Now we're going to start our repeat and we're going to start by v stitching into the next v stitch so don't do a chain one or anything we're just starting the repeat um we're going to jump all the way over here to this v stitch and a v stitch into it so two doubles chain one two doubles so we're just repeating from the beginning of row 12 here We're going to chain one and we're going to work across our nine double crochets here putting a double crochet in the first one and chain one double crochet into the next one chain one double crochet into the next one chain one all the way across And we're going to chain one after the last one and we're going to put a v stitch into the next v stitch and then we're just going to repeat this all the way across what we've been doing like that so again we just repeat starting with a repeat we don't chain one here we would just jump all the way over here to our next v stitch and put a v stitch in it so i'm going to repeat that pattern until you get to uh the end of the row all right so i made it to the end of round or row 12 and you can see i just did a v stitch here into this last v stitch and now i want to do a double triple crochet into my last stitch so you can see this chain here not the chain but there is a stitch here right down here on the end and that's what we're going to work into so we're going to do a double triple we're going to yarn over three times one two 
three. And we'll go into that stitch and we're going to draw up a loop and we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops, yarn over and go through the next two loops, and then yarn over and go through the remaining two loops. And that is a double triple crochet and that ends row 12. So we'll go ahead and we'll start row 13. We are going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, so we are going to go back to this very first stitch and we're going to work a double crochet into it. Like that. And then we're going to start the repeat of row 13. We're going to put into this next V stitch here, we're just going to work two double crochets into it. Just like that. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to start working the chains of the pineapple. So we're going to jump over here to these chain spaces of the pineapple. So not this one, but this one right here. And we're going to single crochet into it. And chain three. Single crochet in between the next two double crochets. And chain three. We're going to do this all the way across here, just like we were when we were making our pineapples before chain three, single crochet in between the next doubles, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. I got one more here left. I'm going to single crochet into it like that so i made it all the way across so now what i'm going to do is do a chain of three one two three and i'm going to put two double crochets into this v stitch right here and i'm going to chain one and then I'm going to start my repeat again by jumping over here to the next V stitch and putting two double crochets into this, into the chain one space, like that. And then I'm going to chain three, come over here to my group of nine where my pineapple stitch is and in this first, in between the first two double crochets here. That's where we start. We single crochet and chain three. Single crochet into the next chain three. And we're going to do this all the way across here where our pineapple stitch is going to go. Then I'm going to chain three and I'm going to put two double crochets into the next V stitch. So right here, and then I'll chain one and repeat again by starting with two double crochets into this V stitch. And you want to go ahead and repeat that all the way across until you get near the end of the row. All right, I come to the end of row. 13 here and you can see that I just did a v-stitch here into my last v-stitch and what I want to do is double crochet into the top of this uh, chain five from the previous row so in that top there we put a double crochet and that'll end around row 13 so that's what it starts to look like there all right, so now we're going to start row 14. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. Now we're going to work three double crochets into the very first stitch here. So this one right here will work three double crochets. 
one, two, and three. And now we're going to start the repeat of row 14. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And we're not going to do anything with these double crochets here. We're going to jump over here or this chain three space. We're going to jump over here to the first chain three space of our pineapple. And we're going to single crochet into it. And then we're going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain space and chain three. We're going to work this all the way across our pineapple single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, so you get to the last one like that. And then we're going to chain three. And then right here, you can see we did two double crochets here and two double crochets here. We have this chain one in between them. We're going to put a V stitch right here between in this chain one space between these two sets of two double crochet. So skip this chain three space, skip these two doubles and V stitch right here into this space. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then we are going to repeat by chaining three. And we skip these two doubles here, skip this chain three space, and we're working on our pineapple again. Single crochet into that chain three space, chain three. Single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three. Do this all the way across your pineapple. Okay, I've made it all the way across my pineapple and then I'm going to chain three again and put a V stitch right here in between these sets of two double crochets. So two doubles, chain one and two doubles. Oops. And you want to keep repeating this until you get near the end of the row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row 14. I just finished out uh, my last single crochet of that pineapple. So I'm going to chain three and I'm going to skip this chain three, skip these two doubles, and I'm going to work three double crochets into the top of my last stitch here. And that will end row 15 and we'll go ahead, I'm sorry, row 14 and we'll go ahead and start row 15. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. And we're gonna work, start off by putting three double crochets into the first stitch. There's one two and three and now we are going to start our repeat we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to be working in this pineapple stitch area so we'll skip this chain three here and single crochet into the next one and chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space working across our pineapple chaining three and single crocheting into the chain three spaces. Okay, did my last one there. And then what we're going to do now is chain three. 
we're going to put a v-stitch into the chain one space of the next v-stitch so right here two doubles chain one and two doubles and that's going to be the repeat for row 15 so we're going to repeat it again by chain of three and working in our next pineapple here so we don't work in this chain three space but this first one on the pineapple single crochet into it chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three all the way across your pineapple single crochet oops chain three single crochet chain three Okay, when you make it to your last one, you single crochet into that last spot of your pineapple. We're gonna chain three and V-stitch into the chain one space of the next V-stitch. And that's what we're gonna repeat for row 15. Until we get to the end of the row, just keep repeating what we did. All right, I'm coming to the end of row 15. I just finished the single crochet in my last pineapple and I'm going to chain three and end by putting three double crochets into my last stitch here on the end. There's one, two, and three, and that will end row 15 and we'll go ahead and we'll start row 16 we are going to chain one and turn our work now what we're going to do is put a v stitch into the very first stitch so this very first stitch here we're going to work two double crochets a chain one and two more doubles all into that very first stitch just like that now we're going to start the repeat of row 16. We are going to chain three and we're going to be working in this pineapple section here so we don't do anything with this chain three here but we start here and we single crochet chain three single crochet into the next and chain three single crochet into the next all the way across your pineapple we repeat this and then when you get to the last one you single crochet into it now what we're going to do is chain three one two three and we're going to be working into this v stitch right here and we are going to work two double crochets chain one two double crochets into the same spot chain one and two more double crochets into the same spot so that spot got two doubles chain one two doubles chain one two doubles and then we just repeat again starting with chain three and working across this pineapple here so we don't do anything with this chain three space. We single crochet in the first chain three of the pineapple and then chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, and into the next chain three space, chain three, and I got one more left here, single crochet into it. And then we're going to chain three again and into this v stitch here we're going to do what we did before we're going to work two doubles oops chain one back in the space two more doubles chain one and back in the space two more doubles so in that space again it's the same as before two doubles <clears throat> chain one two doubles chain one two doubles 
and we're going to keep repeating that pattern until we get near the end of our row all right i've come to the end of row 16 and i am i just did my single crochet in the last chain three space of that pineapple so i'm going to end by chaining three and i'm going to put a v stitch into the last stitch of my row so in that last stitch we put two doubles chain one and two doubles and that will end row 16 and we can start row 17 now so that's what it's starting to look like it's looking really pretty all right let's go ahead and start row se row 17 we are going to chain one and turn our work there we go now we're going to put a double crochet into the very first stitch just like that and then we're going to work a v stitch in the next v stitch so that is just that's right here into this chain one space go ahead and work two double crochets chain one and two double crochets into that spot and now we're going to start the repeat of row 17 by chaining three one two three and then we're going to work in the pineapple again so we won't be working into this chain three space but the first cha chain three space of our pineapple and we're going to single crochet into it and chain three single crochet into the next chain three space chain three we do this across our pineapple single crochet into the next chain three space chain three and then the last chain three space we single crochet into it like that now we're going to work a chain of three one two three and we're right here where our chain one space we got uh, two chain one spaces so in the first chain one space we are going to work a v-stitch so two doubles chain one two doubles like that and then we're gonna <clears throat> excuse me and we're gonna chain one and work a v-stitch into the next chain one space so right here two doubles chain one two doubles and that is a repeat now for row 17 so we're just going to repeat again by chaining three and working in our pineapple our chain three space of our first pineapple or the next pineapple so not this space here but right here single crochet into it chain three single crochet into the next space chain three do this all the way across here until you get to the last one and again we'll chain three and in these two chain one spaces here we're going to do the same thing we'll work a v-stitch in the first one so two doubles chain one two doubles then we chain one and then we work a v-stitch into the next one and then we just keep repeating this pattern until we get to the end near the end of the row and that's where i'll meet back up with you all right i've made it to the end so you can see that's a tail there i had to tie on some new yarn um i single crocheted there into my last chain three space of this last pineapple and now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to put a V stitch into the last V stitch. So this chain one space here, I'm going to work my two doubles, chain one and two doubles. And then I'm going to end uh, the row 
by putting a double crochet into the top of the very last stitch. And that will end a row of 17. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and start row 18. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, don't mind those tails. I'll hide those later. Row 18, we're going to start off by putting three double crochets into the first stitch. There's one, two, and three. And we're going to put a V-stitch into the next V-stitch. So right here, we'll go ahead and put our two doubles, chain one and two doubles. like that and now we're going to start with a repeat of row 18. We're going to chain three and we're going to be working in where our pineapple is. So this chain three here we skip and we go to the first chain three of our pineapple and we single crochet into it and then we chain three. Single crochet into the next chain three and we chain three and single crochet into the last chain three of the pineapple like that and then we're going to chain three and we're going to jump over here to these v stitches now we're going to do a v stitch in each of the chain one spaces so we should have three one here in this v stitch one in between these v stitches and then one here into this V stitch. So go ahead and start with the first one. So put a V stitch here. So two, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Like that. Now we're gonna jump in between them right here and put a V stitch. And then the next one goes in the chain one space of the next V-stitch. And then we're going to repeat this again. So we re repeat by with a chain, starting with a chain three. And coming over here to our pineapple, so we don't do anything with this chain three space, the chain three space of our pineapple, single crochet into it, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space of our pineapple. And now we're going to chain three. And again, we're over here where we're going to put three V stitches, one here, one here, and one here. We don't put any chain one spaces in between these V stitches. Here's the next one goes right here into this space. And the last one goes right here into the space of the next V-stitch. Just like that. And then we're, we will going to repeat this again. And we'll just keep repeating it until we get near the end of our row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row 18. So I did my last single crochet here um of my pineapple here so i'm going to chain three and i'm going to v stitch into this last v stitch here at the end so go into that chain one space and put your two doubles chain one two doubles and then 
I'm going to end row 18 by putting three double crochets into my last stitch. Like that. All right, now we're going to start row 19. We're going to chain one, trying to work. And we are going to work three double crochets into the very first stitch. So right here, three doubles. There's one, two, three. Then we're going to chain two, one, two. And we're going to work a V stitch into the next V stitch. So right over here into that chain one space at the next V stitch. We'll work two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. Now we're going to start the repeat of row 19. We're going to chain three. And we're going to work into the pineapple section so we don't work in this chain three. This one right here, I'm going to single crochet into it and chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space like that. And that will should have completed that pineapple stitch right there. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And we're going to V stitch into the next V stitch. So we got these three V stitches up here. So we're going to V stitch into the next one. That, then we're going to chain two and we're going to V stitch into the chain one space of the next one. And then we're going to chain two and we're going to v-stitch into the chain one of the next one. Like that and that will end the repeat of row 19. So we will repeat it again by chaining three. And coming over here to our pineapple stitch, so we don't do anything with this one, but the chain three space of the pineapple, single crochet into it, chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space, and that would have completed your next pineapple there. Like that. And we're going to chain three. And we're coming up on our three v-stitch sets so we're going to v-stitch into the first one the chain one space of the first one chain two v-stitch into the chain one space of the next one chain two and v-stitch into the chain one space of the next one now we're going to repeat this pattern until we get near the end of the row all right i'm coming to the end of row 19. um what i'm going to do is chain i just did my last single crochet into this last pineapple which would have completed that pineapple and I'm going to chain three and I'm going to v-stitch here into the last v-stitch and I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to 
put three double crochets into the last stitch. Like that. Now we're going to do round 20. All right, so now we're going to start row 20, which is the end of the repeat row, and we're actually starting a new pineapple stitch row. But row 20, we're going to chain one, turn our work like that, and we're going to work five double crochets into the very first stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five and then we're going to chain two one two and we're going to put a v-stitch into the next v-stitch so right over here i put a v-stitch into that and now we're going to start the repeat of row 20 we are going to chain three we're going to put a single crochet into the chain three space of our pineapple the very last chain three space of our pineapple so not this one but right here we're going to put a single crochet into it and then we're going to chain three like that and now we're going to put a v stitch into the next v stitch And we're going to chain two and we're going to put nine double crochets into the next v stitch so we're starting to make another set of pineapples so nine doubles into the next v chain two and a V stitch into the next V stitch like that and then we're just going to repeat again we'll start by chaining three and single crocheting into the bottom chain three space of this pineapple so not this chain three but the next one then we chain three and we jump over here to our next V stitch and V stitch into it. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Then we chain two and in the next V stitch we work nine double crochets. chain two and a V stitch into the next V stitch and we're just going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end near the end of row 20. I'll meet back up with you. All right, I'm coming to the end of a row 20 and I just did a single crochet in the bottom of my last pineapple. I am going to work a chain of three and I'm gonna work a V-stitch here into this last V-stitch. Oops. And I'm going to chain two and I'm going to work five double crochets into my last stitch.
and that will end row 20. All right, so that's it. Now, you would just keep repeating rows 3 through 20. You know, it is a 18 row repeat. 3 through 20 for as long as you would want your wrap or blanket or whatever it is that you're making. Now, I think I always like, I think the ending in a row 20 repeat like this is a very nice way to end, especially if you're doing a rectangle wrap. It looks really nice on the bottom. But if you want a more straighter edge, all you have to do is when you're working your row of pineapple, um, just whenever you find a row that's straight across, you can stop on that. It'll, be, it'll cut off your pineapple uh, stitches, but um, like in half. But you can do it that way. But otherwise, this looks beautiful, especially for an edge of a wrap. Now, there is one thing I want to show you. So, we just did row 20. So, we would start again row 21 by repeating row 3. Now, there is only one difference to the repeat from now on every time you repeat row 3. So, I'll show you real quick. When you look down here, when we did row 3, we worked our V stitches into single crochets. See that? Now, every time from now on, when we repeat row 3, we will work our V stitches into V stitches. There will not be any <clears throat> single crochets to work them into. So, I'll go ahead and show you. All right, so when you're repeating row three, this will be the change. I'll go ahead and show you how. Remember, every time you repeat row three from now on, this is how it's done. So we're on row 21, which is actually a repeat of row three, because we're starting over. We would um, chain one and turn our work. And we would do a double crochet into the first double crochet and then chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one double crochet into the next double crochet chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet you want to do that across all five here chain one and double crochet into the next so that is the same as row three. Now the the difference here, remember I said, is down here we did our V stitches in, in single crochets. Now we just do our V stitches into V stitches. So we would start our repeat by chaining one and V stitch into the next, which if, if you watch row three, it'll be a single crochet. But since we're doing them in the V stitches, we'd V stitch here. And we would v-stitch in, into the next single crochet if we repeated row three, but we are going to v-stitch into the next v-stitch uh, since we're very, this is how we do our row three repeats from now on. It's the same except for instead of v-stitching into singles, we're v-stitching into v-stitches. I hope that makes sense. Everything, about, everything else about it is the same. See that? And then we would chain one and we'd be here at our nine double crochets. And we'd work double, chain one, double, chain one. So that's the only difference whenever you re repeat row three. Just remember that you are V-stitching into the V stitches from now on and not the single crochets. Just on this row. All the other rows are the exact same. And when you make it to the end, repeat chain one. V stitch into the next V stitch. And 
and V stitch into the next V stitch this way over here. So no singles on row three that we're V stitching into. We're just V stitching into V stitches. And that's the only change, really, is row three is just done like this now. Every time you repeat it. And that's it. Just keep doing that. Rows three through 20, ending on a row 20. You can end on any row you want, actually. Even ending on this row is beautiful as well. So I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. I know it was a bit long, but it's a longer stitch. So <laughs> um, remember, you just keep repeating those rows until you get it to size, you know, the width that you want it to be. And that's it. That's how you crochet a pineapple stitch. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? And that like button. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.